everybody. Hey, welcome to the Bill Squire Show. I am your host, Bill Squire, and here's my co-host. AJ. AJ DeCosimo. Yeah. And you can find him on one social media outlet. Just one. It's Snapchat. Oh, and Snapchat. And That's Snapchat. right. Oh, yeah. I forgot you're yeah. on Snapchat. And then, whoopsie, our little mascot here. So uh, that's nice to have. Uh, she's she's a sweetheart. Not really. She's really quite. Come on. I, was, I gave you the ball to get you to leave me alone, and now you're doing the opposite. That's not cool, dog. That's not cool. Um, boy, we're going to answer a lot of questions on this week's episode of the Bill Squire Show. We're going to... To, you know, find out if diabetes makes you racist. We're going to find out how long it takes to get the N-word out of your vocabulary. We're going to uh, understand what it's like to have taken cocaine in the 70s. There's so many different things uh, that we're going to get into, and I'm, I'm excited about it. We didn't go over that last part. You, Yeah, we did. Oh, we did? Yeah, you'll see. Oh, okay. You'll see. You'll see. All right, let's, let's start the program the right way with some music. Yeah, that hits. That does, right? It's really, so good. Just uh, that's Bob Coates. Uh, he works at WMS and made a kick-ass song. Let's see who's. That's in. Nice. We got we got people watching, but we don't have anybody commenting yet. But uh, let's get right into. It. Where do you want to start? Do you want to go to the past or people that think we're in the past? Um, let's start with the people who think we're in the past. Start with people. All right. So, I think let's start with Papa John. You have uh, a public board that paints its chairman as a racist. And I used to lay in bed just going, how did they do this? And we've had three goals for the last 20 months to get rid of this uh, N-word uh, in my uh, vocabulary. <laughs> and to figure out how to put cheese in the crust. <laughs> right. Well, they just did that. I know. Yeah. So Papa John has been working for 20 months to get the N-word out of his vocabulary. You could, and do, you could do a lot in 20 months. You can do so much in 20 months. You could lose like 150 pounds in 20 months. You could you could learn to play the guitar at a pretty high level. I was going to say, it, it took me about 20 months to figure out what I was doing yeah, on the guitar. You, you could get good at so many things in 20 months. And the thing that he struggled with in 20 months is to not say the is N-word. Is to not say the N-word. I haven't said the and like I'll, like ever like the the way he said it the way he said it yeah 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 like I was an ignorant young kid so I like I I'm not gonna say I've never said it but like I was also you know I grew up in an environment where it wasn't necessarily used a lot but it wasn't like a super bad word but it was just, it just wasn't uh, you know so like but i haven't said it in 20 years really like i like not in that way it's been about like 20 months for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. um, what's no. up kev i just got the uh the kev's uh a sneaker guy i just got the jordan 9 dark knights that are like black and gold nice they're, or black and yellow they're pretty sweet i'm pretty excited about those uh, a nice little restock the cobra kai's cobra kai's that's yeah, yeah. I, I like and if uh, my buddy Marcus is watching, I definitely got this style going now where I uh, have a yellow wa- I bought a bunch of watch bands that will match my shirts and shoes because that's just the direction that my life is going. I don't have it all together, but I want my color coordination between my watch band and my uh, shoes and shirt to look like to I have work. it together. There you go. So there, there it is. Uh, and also, we got a little new feature. Uh, look at the little corner bug. We got the the buzzard, because Ooh. this is a WMMS podcast. So I like you know what? Let's throw the buzzard up there, and we'll have him floating around. 
uh, while we're doing everything on the show. And it I took him about 20 months to get that. <laughs> Kev says he uses the N-word daily. You got a pass, though, because you are, you've had sex with a black girl. Oh, is that all, what it takes? Well, also, he's black. Oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that all it takes? You're like, I can say it now. I was like, I'm, I could say it. <laughs> the. Uh, yeah, and uh, a lot of people use it daily uh, that shouldn't be using it. And the thing is, like, it's just not anything. Like, now, there is N-word envy because as an emphasis, when you want to say things, like, the the way black guys use it is, like, you, you know. You want to be a part yeah, of, it, he, of the... Thing. Or and Louis C.K. has a bit about it where he just wants to you know, you know, use it for emphasis the way you say fuck or something like that. Yeah. But it's just you know I, I go eh I'm not going to see I, no I don't, I, need it. I don't have the desire to be a, a part of the club of people right. who say it. Like, well I'm I'm just thinking of like there's certain times where it would just be funny, it would add emphasis in a way that would be funny, but I'm not trying to use it in a derogatory right. way. But I also know that. No one's going to interpret it that way when I say it. But the problem is, is like if you say it, then you're, it's going to take you 20 months to unsay it. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, to, to learn to unsay to it. To learn to unsay months. it. Imagine going on and being like, not not that I've just learned to not say Like, you, you know not to say it. Like, that's, the, that's what is so wild to me is like, you know, don't say this word. And he's like, well, I had, it's taken 20 months to... Really remove this from my vocabulary to like, really to really get, get it in there. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. It's like carbs in the N word. Yeah. Like oh man, carbs. Getting rid of it. <laughs> well, that that brings me to the the next topic, which is an announcer, uh, and also this this, well, there's, this it's clip been a very played, racist week. Yeah, you know that's that's how you know the country is healing. Is nature is healing? Yeah. There's uh, we had trans news a couple weeks ago. Now we got n-word news so it's like you know the vaccines rolling out like things are we're we're getting back on track we're getting back on track we're coming back um america's back so i'm gonna play a little bit more of this because uh mark norman did a very funny sketch where he's playing papa john and he's learning how to not say the n-word yeah so it's it's quite funny so i want to throw some of that uh on here so here we go. Papa John here. I used to own this store, and now I'm trespassing. You don't work here anymore. I just miss working with pizza. <laughs> but I'm here to tell you, I'm making changes, folks. I'm a new man. I'm going through training to stop saying the N word. Boy, that's tough. <laughs> You'll see. You'll see. I've been training for 20 months. Blood, sweat, and tears. And I got the top sensitivity coach. And today, I'm going to take you through my N-word training. Let's get you back to the top, Papa. So that is on uh, Mark Norman's uh, Instagram, if you want to watch that all. He's he's been a guest on the show before. He's one of the best comedians out there working today. And it's a very funny sketch. So uh, I would definitely recommend you checking that out. And, uh, Does he have a cold sweats and a, and a bad... Uh, I don't think so. No. It's more like exercise based type stuff. It's oh, not like, it's like motivation. It's not like detox kind of thing, oh, but okay. it, it's funny. I just want to sing the songs. That's a quote from one of my jokes. And, yeah. And Ron, thank you for for checking out the, the Bill Squire show live. It's first time. He's a very good supporter. Uh, before we, I'm all over the place this morning, but uh, I'm doing an album recording. I did see that at Hilarities, and I'm very excited about that. I'm excited for what are you naming this one? Um, so I've thrown out a few ideas, uh, but the one that I like the most... No N-word in 20 months. <laughs> <laughs> well, now that's at the top of the list. That's right. N-word yeah. free N-word, for 20 yeah. months. And then some. That's uh, right. <laughs> I'm going to go... I was thinking, uh, there's a Billy Squire album called Don't Say No. Okay. So I was thinking of doing an album called Do Please S- Say Yes. Do Say Yes. Oh, okay. Or Please Say Yes. That's funny, too. Yeah. But I, I, I like I like Do Say Yes. <laughs> do Say Yes. <laughs> because it's like a weird thing to... <laughs> it, is, it doesn't feel comfortable doesn't coming feel out comfortable. of my mouth. No, no. That's for sure. Do Say Yes. So do that's Say Yes. kind of the direction I'm going to go with it. But I, I don't know yet. It's going to be a clean album, too. 
Oh, so you're you're entering your Foxworthy phase. Well, I just have all this stuff that's like scattered through all these different albums that have you know clean jokes and with the company that I'm working with, the goal is to get it on Sirius XM, and they need clean content on there. Right. So and that's where you make the most money. So this is. A money grab. <laughs> there you go. So just make that clean album. Make that clean album. I got the jokes. I got the time. Let's do it. So I'm going to do that. And it's going to be a lot of fun. And they're good jokes, too. It's not like a, it's going to be like corny or some shit. It's going to be cool. a good, funny album that I'm very excited about. Um, I did get those. I think you saw the pumps. No, I got the pumps last week. You talked about I the talked pumps. The pumps. They're, yeah. they're right over there. So I'll show you them after. Yeah, I want to see them. Yeah, they're pretty sweet. Um. All right, now let's get back to this announcer dude. So this dude is he's an announcer for like girls basketball in some in high school, high school uh, women's basketball. Mm-hmm. And when they're doing the national anthem, the black girls that were playing in this game kneeled. They took a knee, and he and boy did he he had end his twenty to months so so Brian. Yeah, I, I don't think this guy had a twenty. No, months no, this dude was like he clearly he, maybe a twenty uses minute. It. Yeah, 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 and that's the thing. Like you can tell when somebody clearly uses this word on a regular basis because the way they scramble for an excuse is almost. Like they have More in, like, like a Rolodex of excuses. Yeah, yeah. They got to go through like, oh, why would I? Why would I? Why would I, why would I say it? Why it's would like, I say it? Why would I say it this time? Right. And it's not like he was quoting something or like he was directly angry at these girls because while they were taking a knee, he said into a hot mic, "effing n word." He said, yes. "fucking yeah," and uh, he tried to play it off. Uh. He, he goes, hell no, come on, Midwest City, they're going to kneel like that. Hell no, fucking N-words. And that is the most direct racist way to use it. Yeah, you're not really um, punching your way out of that right. one. Yeah. And then my favorite, like, obviously he's a racist piece of shit and he's trying to uh, back his way out of it, but... The way he's trying to get out of it and trying to, he did the whole like there's no excuse for this language. I'm a family man. They always talk about that. I'm a family I man. I, I I'm a religious guy. I'm like, a yeah, lot. we know we know what you do. But a, we know that there's a lot of people that have families. Like having a family doesn't make you not racist. Yeah, there's a lot of dudes with families in the clan, I would imagine. Right, yes. There's a lot of people that go to church that are also racist. Like that's that's not setting you apart. And obviously your values are that that you will say the n-word when your blood sugar is spiking because that's what he blamed it on you blame it on type 1 diabetes type 1 diabetes well i kind of know all right what what he's talking about there because when i get migraines and it turns me into an anti-semite oh yeah <laughs> yeah i just start going oh the, the all right now i gotta show the shoes because they do actually pump kev They do actually pump, um, so we're going all over the place again. But yeah, you can get a little pump. Can I pump one. it? Can I just do it once and then right. let it release? So pump it, and then you can kind of hear it release. Maybe not. Oh, I heard it release. Psst. See, there it is. There it oh, goes. That's cool. Yeah. Ooh, look at that. They actually pump. Yeah, I was playing pool in them last week because. I'm not going to actually play basketball. In those shoes. Uh, Joe, thank you, Joe. You saw me with uh, Chad Daniels and Mary at Hilarities. Said I killed. Thank you. Come to my album recording. All right. So anyway. When's that? Uh, May 7th through the 9th at okay. Hilarities. Hilarities.com for tickets. I'll be I there. I hope so. Maybe I'll, I'll have I'm you do coming. a set. Yeah, maybe I'll do a set. That'd be nice. Uh, so, yeah. But you, so when you get uh, migraines, you become an anti-Semite. Yeah, I just go. Oh, yeah. the, the controlling well, Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> when my allergies uh, flare up, I'm definitely more misogynistic. I, yeah. I I've seen it. Yeah, I'm just like I've seen it. You, you're around. Uh, you're, I wouldn't be sneezing right now if there was a woman <laughs> in the kitchen. You're like, right. You're, you're if I've seen you around a every time you're around a cat, you're like, oh, where's a lady? I want to hit her. <laughs> <laughs> So <laughs> fucked up. 
uh, yeah, every time like hay fever is like the worst oh, yeah. for me, like the the seasonal allergy. So like this time of year, they just they flare up, and then I'm like, Women's History Month. Why isn't it? men's history month where's white men's history that's month? right and, oh my and then god i take a benadryl and i'm like oh i was out of my mind when of i was course. when i was 22 i had gallstones uh-huh. Oof. <laughs> oh there was a genocide <laughs> <laughs> i'll tell you that i used to i used to wet the bed as a kid and uh that like every night they found out the reason is uh i'd wet the bed and then i'd also uh just say really racist things against mm. Asian people. And it's just like not cool. I've killed a hooker. Yeah. And that has to do just in general. Okay. Uh, you did it. Did you have like, did you stub your toe or something? No. I no, just, you just did it. Yeah, it's just a, a kink. <laughs> uh, you said you had a hot mic moment though. I did have a hot mic moment. I was in high school. Um, I um, I went to a vocational school. Mm-hmm. So it's like half the day I spent at my home school, half the day I spent doing something I really like doing. Which was what? Um, audiovisual, okay. media technology. Nice. Um, How old are you, by the way? I I'm forget. 30. I will be 32 next month. Okay. I always forget that you're like, you seem older than you are. Oh. And I mean that in like a distinguished. bad way. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean that in a kind way. <laughs> oh, no, that's well, okay. Because I think when we started hanging out, like you were still in your... like. I was in my twenties, mid twenties, yeah. yeah. And I was just like, I found out how old you were, and I think you were like twenty five or twenty, probably twenty six or twenty seven yeah. at the time. And I was like, really? Oh wow! I thought you were older than me. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, I'll, or like well, a little bit, like closer to my age. Oh man! And I, I got a good uh, seven years on you. Yeah, yeah. You're you're a little older than I am. Yep. Um. I uh. All right. Well, I'll take that and run with it. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, I had the, this hot mic moment. So there was this kid, he had a like muscular dystrophy mm-hmm. and he went to the same school I did. Now, did his, uh, muscular dystrophy cause any sort of anti-Semitism or racism? Um, or, he, or he didn't. Gen- he, general unpleasantness. <laughs> he didn't really have nice things to say about Pacific Islanders. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Yeah. Uh, he. Uh, Maoris are okay. I like the New right. Zealand ones, but uh, yeah. Hey, you, if you're Tongan, poof. yeah, get a couple of drinks in him. He starts touting Mao. Um. But no. Uh. But he was in the classroom next, and he was friends. I was friends with him yeah. from my home school, and he was in the class next to me, and he he was being bullied by yeah. some kids in there, and they shot him with a nail. They were in the carpentry uh, class. They shot him with a nail gun. Oh, and he geez. didn't want to say anything, but we were on the bus and on the way Jeez. home. I know <laughs> bullying when I, when we were younger. That's assault. It is assault, but he didn't want to say anything about yeah. it. He, he was just he wanted to like tough it out, but we were on like the bus. What, did it like go into his skin? Like, he showed me. He like showed me like the wound. Like damn. they shot him with a nail gun. Yeah, they shot him with a nail gun. He didn't want to like say anything because he didn't want to like p- you know piss him off. Like yeah, you know. they already shot him with a nail gun. Right. What's next? So we're on the bus. We're on the way home, and he tells me about it because he were friends. We sat with each other on the bus. I'm like, I'm gonna go fight this guy tomorrow. I'm like, you tell me where he is. Like, I'll go fight him. Mm-hmm. So in, in in this school, there's like this auditorium where everybody gathers before we go to our classrooms, and. Like, it was kind of open. Like, yeah. it wasn't like there's this area. Well, people would hang out, like, on the stage yeah. of the auditorium. Yeah, we had something like that. And, you know. Yeah, so he points him out to me. I'm like, he's that guy sitting over there. And he's just like, yeah, he's sitting at the end of this edge of the stage right there. He's got the curly hair and the denim jacket. And I'm like, all right. And I go up to him, and I'm just like, I'm going to fuck you up. Like, I like I was just like, I'm going to fight you. Like, we're going <laughs> to do the – like, and I, I mean, it was just like this rage because I'm, like, able to turn it on. Yeah. And yeah, I mean, I know I don't look like it, but I've been in a few fights. Okay, I've been in a few scrap scrap doodles. <laughs> um, but on the, I mean, that is the terminology that someone that's, that's been in been a, a few lot of fights, fights would say. Yeah, I've that's been in a right. Few scrap <laughs> doodles, <laughs> a little scrap of duty news. Um, he's on the stage, and the mic from the um, like the the lectern yeah. was on. So I like rage bitch this guy out in front of the entire class, and it went over the 
Oh wow! Yeah, I went over so, like it, the like, whole PA, the whole PA. Like, but I is didn't it like know. through the whole school or just. In the auditorium. It was the whole school. The whole school. The whole school heard it. <laughs> the whole school heard it. But I'm saying, like, I'm going to fuck you in the ass in the middle of the street. <laughs> like, and then. That's such a weird way to talk trash to somebody. Oh, dude, well, you got to go, like, crazy. Like, yeah. I don't remember every. I remember, like, key little things. Yeah. But this get, kid's, like, terrified because he, like, went to, like, Nordonia yeah. or something. So this is at the, not your home school, but the. At vocational the vocational school. school. Yeah. Yeah. And then I see like my like I hear like people laughing behind me, and I'm just like I wonder what they're laughing about. And then I'm starting to kind of like come out of this haze, yeah. and I turn and I see my friend Maria. She's like, <laughs> and then I see like people like 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 um, gathering. No, not well. People started coming around because yeah. they I was gonna fuck this kid up. Like yeah. it was gonna happen. Yeah. Um, had nobody just like right there. It, uh, yeah, I was gonna do it like right there. I was. Yeah. I told him like, get off the fucking stage. Yeah. I'm gonna. I'm gonna kick the shit out of you. But then I see like the um like teachers coming mm-hmm. to like pull me. Away. I'm like, how the fuck did I hear this? And like my friend Marie was like, the mic, the mic. <laughs> I'm like, oh no, oh no. So they pulled me in, and I explained what happened. That's fucking. And awesome. they like totally had my back. They were just like, yeah, like, oh yeah, he's a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah they were yeah. just like, fuck this kid. Yeah, yeah. Like you know what? I'm gonna take a shot too. Yeah, that's right. And we all just uh, beat him. Mm. Yeah, that would have been the. Ha- I'm sure they just gave him some sort of slap on the wrist. That's right. We gave him. A- Did they let? They should have let the kid with muscular dystrophy shoot him with a nail. I know. I feel like that's you know, an eye for an eye. Yeah, yeah, an eye for an eye for justice. Yeah. But, yeah, no no racist comments out of a hot mic yeah. from me because, you know, I'm not a racist. That's good. Yeah. That's good. Even when some sort of medical condition flares up, right. not a racist. Right. Because I think you're always a racist. It's just, you know, if you, your blood sugar spikes, then, that's when it comes then out. it comes out. That's when it comes uh, out. Yeah. It's a symptom. And you also have uh, are offended by people that want to, police to stop beating and shooting black people that are That's innocent right. or, or or not innocent. They just wanted to, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. They're, the cops are overextending their power. That's right. Nobody gets so that. You're not, you're <laughs> not the judge, jury, and executioner. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. And they just go, oh, they're kneeling during the... Uh, like, you're not mad about the kneeling? You're, you're oh. mad about something else. Well, this spins right into another topic. Myers Leonard. Yes, I heard about this, but I didn't see the whole thing. All I right. know that he dr- pull up said Leonard. something. Ah, sorry, Papa John's I'm back Jimmy again. Uh, Myers Leonard. So Myers Leonard is a basketball player for the Miami Heat, and he's also the guy that when like the Heat all took a knee during a national anthem, he was the one standing. Okay. So that adds weight to the whole thing where – he was on a hot mic and he called some, or he wasn't on a hot mic. He was playing Call of Duty and called someone. What's well, a, a hot German mic. slur? Yeah, I mean it, it is a hot mic, but it's like he usually when you think of like a hot mic that like you don't know what's on. Like right. that guy didn't know it was on with the diabetes thing, but like this is a guy like he knows what he's doing, he knows what he's saying, and then he drops a Jewish slur and then. Has to do the whole like, well, I never actually knew what that word meant. Right. I'm like, you are well, 29 years yeah, old. Yeah. If you're saying it, you should know what it means. Yeah. So why are you saying it if you don't know what it means? People are playing fast and loose with their racial slurs these days. Well, I this mean, week. Well, if you ever play like online video games, you know that it's, they're getting thrown around a lot anyway. Right. But you're a uh, but NBA you're a pro- player. You're an NBA player that has like a streaming endorsement. So. Throwing that, and, and I honestly think he didn't know what it means because I think he's a stupid person. Right. Uh, <laughs> I think he he just hears people saying it and he goes, "Oh, that just means." Who, there was another basketball player a couple years ago that got in trouble for saying some anti-Semitic stuff. I don't want to. Was it Charles Barkley? No, it wasn't okay. Charles Barkley. It was Ernie Johnson. <laughs> <laughs> it was Ernie. You should see Ernie around a hot mic. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, so yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, he he's he's out for the season anyway. So all he's been doing is playing Call of Duty. Like that's been his job. Uh, away from job. Oh, you guys turn that back on. I forgot about that. Uh, but yeah, he's he's he got caught with the old hot mic. And that's right. Not great. Now if we go back 
uh, in time. This is my favorite thing that I've seen this week. So Zachariah Durr is a friend of mine, and he has a show called, uh, uh, what is that? The Big Bad Bee Movie. So the Big Bad Bee Movie is this monster show he, he does on 43 with his friend Laura, my friend Laura. And it's, you know, it's a very funny, like, monster movie type intro show. Right. Uh, but he also writes blogs, and he has access to all their archives. Archives, And so he went through some archives. That's so cool. And he found this interview of John Lanigan from, like, Lanigan and Malone, like, a, a staple of Cleveland broadcasting for 30-plus years. He found him like in his younger days, dressed all in like this like seventies leisure retro, suit. Retro, yeah. And he is just having himself a time, and uh, he he's interviewing. It's it's super cringe, and this is what I was talking about: the cocaine in the seventies, because he is just oh, wired. He's just getting he crazy. Is wired. So um, well, and he's interviewing Gary Fisher. Right, and but he starts it off so awkward. He opens with the N word. Yeah, so no, not quite, not quite there. So let's check this out. All right, we're going back to Hollywood, California, on the set of 20th Century Fox, and we're going to take a look at Star Wars again with one of the stars, Carrie Fisher, lovely lady. I really flipped for her. She's a, she's going to be a big star. Let's go back to 20th. Watch. Hi, Princess. Hello. How are you? Okay, this is Carrie Fisher. You know what bothers me seeing you actually sitting here talking? I remember when you were born. I'm beginning to feel really I old. I remember that. I remember when you were, it was 1950. That was a big event. 56? Yeah, 1956. It was in all the newspapers and it was on television, Eddie Fisher and Debbie Reynolds' daughter. And now she's all grown up, which makes us all feel a lot older. My parents feel the same way. I would imagine they do. You said your dad just saw... That's so, like, just right off the bat, being like, I remember when you were born. I know. Like I, you were born. Well, no, and, he called her princess. Yeah, called her princess right off the bat. Hey, hi, princess. Oh, uh, you don't make you make me feel old. And uh, that's right. Hey, princess, yeah. you make me. feel... And then he got the year of her birth wrong. Yeah, right. He's like nineteen fifty, and she's like fifty six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then he just motor mouths through this, and like she's just like grinning and bearing it. Saw the movie. Yes, he saw. It we're talking about Star Wars, in case anybody wants to know. What did he think of it? Oh, he loved it. Well, he has to love it because you're in it. I mean, he's he not going to come over and he say... He was furious at me that I didn't tell him that it was great. Why really? didn't you tell me? You know, he, he sort of science fiction, he, you know, he didn't... Is this a sleeper movie? I don't think so because there's been a lot of... A lot of press on yeah, it. It hasn't been around that long. Well, it's been sort of in the making for about four years. It's going to be a cult film. You know that. It's going to be around a long time. And you can already do it. I'm just... I want to see a sequel now. I mean, I've already seen the first one. I want the sequel. I want sequel. to see a sequel, too. I'll go with you when it comes out. I'm ready. No, because actually, Darth Vader, right, at the yes. end... He's alive. He doesn't get killed. Just straight away. up spoiling it. And so, like, this is the most conversational it is, but, like, as it goes on, he's he, just going a he million He just talks miles. over them. Yeah. So, like... I'm perspiring. It was about 105 in London. Mm. We had a heat wave. We'd all go to lunch, and I'd have my hairy earphones on yeah. with... We all this strange makeup and ray guns, and we'd go into the Chinese restaurant. And, and nobody actually, noticed? Actually, they served us fairly quickly. <laughs> they, they, they did notice Let's, it, let's take care of that cool table right away. Yes. That, who else was with you when you went out to, like, to, to Well, we would just go around the corner. I guess it is a sort of, the studio's in a very Close small movie community. Close enough that I guess they are, Maybe but... Maybe that's it. Used to seven England foot two is kind people. of blasé about <laughs> just, it. <laughs> he just just not going. even paying attention to what she's saying. Or is, yeah, England's like this. So then he gets into the Harrison Ford interview. Let me get this. Uh, so yeah. So. I didn't know there were such things as actor-proof parts. Oh yeah. Unless you're good, you could still, you know. They rarely come that. along, but yeah. with a guy like Lucas in a script like this, it's hard to How old is miss George? the intention. He's like in the middle of answering. How old is George? <laughs> Tell me how old he is. That's important to me. About 14, right? He really is. You got to be a kid to put a movie like this together in your heart. And you you got to be a little be, bit of a kid to be in it. Yeah, but you got to be have a a real sure. lot of sophistication to yeah. this kid. This is not just your ordinary all, kid. Did you have that kind of an imagination when you were a kid with with sci-fi? Were you into no. that kind of thing? No, I never was. You weren't? No. What did you like as a kid? 
Hot dogs. Hot dogs? <laughs> <laughs> you were an American graffiti. No, yeah. I mean a little bit. Yeah. You were an American graffiti. I was. Oh, you were, man. I'm trying to remember. In a graffiti, were you a punk? <laughs> kind of a... Uh, well, yeah, kind of a punk. Rolled up sleeves. I, no, I, I, I can't even watch it, but like, if you want to watch that, that's at us. I've, I've tweeted it out, okay, and I've shared it. I actually hate and watching Harrison Ford in interviews. He's not great at it. No. I don't even really like Harrison Ford that much. He's he's not great in interviews, but like when you have someone that's that wired interviewing him and just being like, "What did you like when you were a kid?" And he's like he's, hot dogs, hot dogs, and you're not gonna like <laughs> roll with that and be like, "Oh yeah, every kid likes hot." Or like, call him out, and be like, "That's a weird thing to say." I'm really against um, his earring. <laughs> 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 I'm really against. I really. I'm mm-hmm. not crazy. I like. Mm-hmm. Well, I like him as Han Solo, and I like one Indiana Jones movie. Which one? Raiders. You don't like Last Crusade? It's okay. I think Last Crusade is great. It's it's all right. Um, it's I like it better than Temple of Doom. Uh, that's for sure. Yeah. All right. That's fair. Yeah. Temple of Doom. I like them. I like the first three. I would say Raiders. Uh. Last Crusade, Temple of Doom. Well, Raiders then, is one of the greatest movies ever made. It's, it's, it's so good. It's so good. Um, but yeah, I just I'm not crazy about Harrison Ford. There's nothing else that he was in that. Well, what's that Amish murder movie? We did Witness. I just uh, he's got some good stuff. I liked uh, what's it called? Um, what was the one he was? See, and that's the thing about Harrison Ford outside of the like Fugitive. Oh, the Fugitive. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good movie. one. That's a good movie. I, I watched Wars Fugitive for like, Tommy Lee Jones. Like Tommy Lee Jones was great in Fugitive. Uh, the Patriot movie, uh, what, Patriot like the, Games, Patriot Games. Yeah, and, didn't he play like Jack Ryan? Yeah he, yeah, he was like an older Jack Ryan, and I think I think he was great in those. What's the, the, the there is uh, this? there's also one of the best, most awkward uh, action movies of all time, the Air Force One. Oh yeah, where, where he's, he's the, the president. president and he's kicking ass. <clears throat> That's like give that a rewatch. Oh my god! Just, you know what? I, it's super. I'm weird. starting to realize now that a lot of movies Harrison Ford is in, he's kicking ass th- in the in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so you have Air Force One, mm-hmm. then like f- four movies where he's flying in the Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Right, and then there's this other really obscure movie I remember with him and Anne Heche. Oh he's yeah, like, uh, six days seven. Yeah, nights. he's like a pilot. That's a, th- he's not kicking ass in the sky in that one. They they crash. They crash, but he's in the sky. He's in the sky. He uh, flies a lot. He flies a lot. He flies a lot in the Indiana Jones movie. Yeah, he's in a lot of planes. He throws, he's one of the best scenes in Last Crusade is when he throws the dude out of the zeppelin. Yeah. And he goes no ticket, that's and everybody right. starts waving their tickets around. That, that's that's pretty good. Um, yeah, Harrison Ford likes to be in fast moving vehicles. Yeah, and well, he also likes flying a lot too and he's crashed his plane like two or he three did times crash his plane like two times at we're least. figure he, he needs to join the, whatever rehab uh papa john is in except <laughs> instead of the n-word it's flying For, planes yeah in the past 20 months i haven't crashed a plane i haven't crashed a plane yeah i've got it out of my system i'm just hanging out with yeah. my stupid earring and that <laughs> and ally mcbeal is that his wife uh i think they're they've been together close to flockhart yeah yeah i think that they've been uh together for a long time she she's i don't know if i how i feel about her i I don't think i know anything about her other than she was ally mcbeal um she's uh did she do anything after that did dated harrison ford oh she is they're married they're married yeah she's only 56 and he's like 78 he gave her an engagement ring and she gave him a big stupid earring (laughs) (laughs) uh i see i like him in those roles though. I, I I don't like watching him try to like act act isn't great, but it's also no, kind of he's a movie he's a movie he's star. He's a movie star, not an actor. a thespian. Yeah. yeah. But like he I mean those he's actor proof right. roles. Yeah. What are you doing? Why are you gonna go trouncing through all my shoes over there, Wolfsey? Just trying to cause problems. All right, what did you bring to the table this week? What's how's your week? Uh, it was okay. You good? Yeah. Um yeah, I got nothing. You got nothing. I got nothing. You asked me like, uh, what can I do to help the show? And I was like, you asked me to watch those things. I watched those things, and you didn't watch all of them. I didn't. Watch <laughs> them. No. Uh, um, 
you caught me at a bad time for the Harrison Ford uh, Carrie Fisher video. Oh yeah. And then by the time I got to a good time, I had forgotten about it. Well, I started. I appreciate you taking this solo seriously. <laughs> <laughs> no, I do. I watched an entire I... documentary about Myers Briggs. I went out and, and paid for a subscription oh, for you know, HBO Max. You paid for it. I gave you a password. I didn't pay for it, but I wanted to make it seem like I brought more <laughs> <laughs> to the table. Than I did. Either way, you were losing. It. Yeah, that's right. Uh, I watched another. I watched the Biggie documentary this week. What happens at the end? <laughs> he gets. He loses a bunch of weight, and he just becomes. Oh, I, okay. Uh, notorious. Oh, so it's kind of like the Nutty Professor. <laughs> <laughs> no, the Nutty Professor, he gets goes back to being fat. Oh, he goes back to being fat again. Yeah. No, I just remember seeing like articles like this is unlike any other Biggie documentary you've ever seen. I'm like, well, it is. It's got a lot of footage that I've never seen before, and there's a lot of stuff where he's, you know, it it shows his talent in a at a deeper level because it like talks to people he knew growing up and stuff. Get down. So he talks about things like like his music teacher like mm-hmm. you you should play saxophone or something because you are a phenomenal musician you have like this incredible talent and so he would listen to this stuff and then almost uh he talks about how he would rap similar to the way the jazz drummers would drum and it was like mm. just a really unique skill and like something that and just his it, it's a lot about his unique uniqueness his uh philosophy and just how he was just really did you ever see a different the, type of rapper in that time did you ever see the interview with john lanigan and piggy smalls <laughs> 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 it was super awkward he calls him princess as well <laughs> that's right and he didn't know a hot mic was there <laughs> it's like all right i got diabetes and that's all right it's like, me too man <laughs> that's right <laughs> Uh, oh my god i I also i I had a oh you know what i went to a dinner with my girlfriend the other night yeah i'll talk about this and we went to a fancy italian restaurant and i do not like fancy restaurants all that much no i like a more casual restaurant yeah because i don't know what it is about like just the the clientele in the first place was bothering me because they were just loud and annoying Stop it. You can't have any of that stuff up there. She wants she wants the whoopsie that looks like her. Oh. Hand me that real quick and I'll get back to the story. If you're listening, I'm sorry, but this is more See, of a See, you say I don't bring anything to the table. <laughs> I just handed you the fucking Fake dog. Whoopsie. She wants this so much. But I love this whoopsie more, whoopsie. I love this whoopsie more. You don't get to... You, no, no, I love this one more. I love this one more. <laughs> Do you want this whoopsie? You can't have this whoopsie. You can't have little whoopsie. You don't get little whoopsie. Little whoopsie just gonna stay up there. No, nope. no little whoopsie for you. Why is this frozen? God damn it! Videos, all right, all right. Get down. Um, so we go to this Italian restaurant, and I'm in a shit mood in the first place, and like, I don't, I don't know why they think they have to make it everything's so difficult in a place like that. Like, I don't like looking at the menus and then having to like see what it's called and then go down and try and decipher what all this means. Right. Like, I, and You're like reading cave paintings. Well, you're reading, it's Italian and I don't speak yeah. Italian. So then yeah. I got to like look up what I'm going to get. And then I go, well, I don't, I don't even know what, even after looking it up, like I don't, there's a billion different kinds of pasta and they're all basically, Spaghetti and top that on with your type one diabetic. Yeah, that's right. And then it's towards Italians, like, right? <laughs> towards <laughs> it. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so so I was just like in this crappy mood, and then like the the food that my girlfriend got was really good. The food, the appetizers that we got was was really good, but the dinner that I got was not what I was expecting. Because I just, I, I was like overwhelmed because I was already super fucking hungry when I got there. And they didn't bring us bread. And that, oh, that yeah. made me insane. And even yeah. my girlfriend's like, yeah, what the fuck was with that? Uh, but what, you, you, have you no ever been bread. to an Italian restaurant where they don't bring you bread? No. Bring me the bread. That's half the reason I'm here. I'm going to fill up on bread and then eat the rest of the shit later. And there was no bread. And so I was very mad about that. Uh, and then mine, it was just like, 
it had this broccolini on it and it overpowered everything else in the dish because mm. it was like this sausage dish and i didn't even like the way like i was so annoyed that i was even critical of the dishes that they were served in i'm like give me a bowl or a plate it's like in between why, why can't i fucking throw these peanut shells on the floor <laughs> 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 they let you do it at other places. I know, it's just like I was at the <laughs> I was at the Roadhouse. I was at the Texas Roadhouse. Mm-hmm. So I also did it at Chipotle. They didn't <laughs> seem to like it, but they didn't kick me out they didn't either. Kick me out. It was just you know part of the experience, right? No, but it's just the the bowls were bothering me, and then just like they put us in this corner that was like definitely the table that they go, we don't want you here, table. Like right. we don't want you to come back, table, because it was like. Packed between two have you ever, have you ever pulled tables, the, and like it was just in a weird spot, and it was like I just I just say. Have you ever pulled the? Do you know who I am? No, you've never done it. No. Have you ever thought about it? No, because nobody knows. Like oh, okay. it's not it's not really a thing, right? Like it's not like it's it's not gonna get me anywhere. No, I know, but I mean, like if they knew who I am, they would have. No, I'm they just, would know who I am. Right, I'm just saying. Like, has it crossed your mind? <laughs> Like, because you're not the type. <laughs> it's whoopsies doing it right now. Yeah. Do you know who I am? I am the big version of this dog. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, it's just not my t- not right. my thing. Oh, I'm not okay. gonna do that. It's just not how I approach things. All right, you're going up here, and then uh, I'm just. The video's very choppy today. Hmm. Uh, all right. All right, so yeah, that was that was my week. My, that was like the, the all right, all right. We're gonna wrap up here in a second, you jerk. Oh, stop it! Uh huh, uh huh. Here, come sit up here. Oh, now you want to run away? She's just she's fidgety. We didn't go on a walk this morning because I was gonna do it later when it got warmer. All right, so yeah. So anyway, I hate my dog, uh, and come see me do comedy at. Hilarities. I'll actually be up. Stop it. The funny stop. That. I was going to put your shot collar on. I should have done it. I'm going to be at the funny stop at the end of March. Uh, buy some merch at uh, Link's places. And that's all right. Goodbye. You got anything?